Hi, Debbie here with another May project for ks for You, and it is a little heart pillow. And this one was suggested to me by Shabby Pink House. So this is going to be going to her if she wants it. And um, but before I show you what I used to make the little pillow, I just want to remind you about the customer celebration that ks for You is having this month of May. And it's from the 1st to the 31st, and with every $25 purchase, your name will go into a drawing for a gift certificate. And she's giving away two. She's giving away a $30 gift certificate and a $40 gift certificate. And she will do the drawing the first week of June for those. And also, as a reminder of the 60% off on all her flowers. So you definitely want to take advantage of that and stock up on all these little beautiful flowers that she has on sale right now. So let me show you what I used to make the little pillow. I did use the fabric and the, the fiber fill from my stash to actually make the flower itself. And the seam binding was also from my stash. But everything else was from ks for You. So let me show you what I did here. You remember from one of my kits, I got this, it was a really long, big applique. Well, this is all I have left of it, because the applique is actually what I use to do the front of the little heart pillow. So I use that. And these here, I actually use one of these to do the back. And um, so I used one of those, and I cut it down to fit and I'll show you and I show you how I did that on my tutorial and I also used one of these whoops it goes this way one of these little appliques here and this is some of the trim that was in that bundle that little lace bundle that I got that was those and of course these little pretty flowers got these little pink ones super cute and then some of the little flower trim here. So let me bring the pillow up close so you can get a close look at how I put this together. So this is what it looks like. It's a little six inch pillow. It's not a really big one. And you can see all the applique that I cut and fit. You know, I made it to fit the front of the pillow. Real pretty. And then on the side you can see the trims that I used. And then I went all the way around the little pillow with the trims and then the seam binding and then there's that little flower there right there and then on the back I cut that other um, applique down to fit and that's how the back looks because I didn't want to leave the back plain so I had to cover it up and uh, so this is my little pillow that I made and my email will be in the description box below for Shabby Pink House to get a hold of me so I can get your address and send this to you. And um, I also did a little tutorial on how I put it together. And so if you, you know, stick around, you can watch that. It's right after this. And uh, so, yeah, so this is going to Shabby Pink House if she wants it. I want to thank all of you for watching and stay tuned for the tutorial. Okay, well this is how I put the little pillow together. I went online and I just got a template for the size of the heart that I wanted. And I just cut out on the material um, that I'm using to make the pillow. I didn't film that for the tutorial. I just cut out two pieces of fabric and stuffed them and sewed them together. And, and this is the little, and this is how the little pillow turned out. So it's got this real fluffy really soft pink uh, fabric that I had. I only had a little piece, it almost was too small for this, but I managed to cut out the heart because I only had a small piece of it. And then the back is just a plain pink um, felt like material. And I just, you know, just stuffed it with fiber fill. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to do in that bundle package, I pulled out this trim here. And what I think I'm going to do is right along the seam line I'm just going to I'm actually going to use Fabri-Tac and I'm going to glue this down all the way around the heart. And that's what that's going to look like on the side. 
This is very pretty. So let me go ahead and do that and then I'll and then I'll come back. And this is how it turned out just like that. And it looks like this on the back. So the next thing I want to do is remember this little pretty trim I have here? Well I want to put that right down the middle of that trim. I get the right way, it goes this way. So it's going to go right down just like that. So I'm just going to take some of the glue and just add a little Strip of it right down the middle. And then take my trim, put it there, and just go all the way around. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got that real pretty trim going all the way around. That is such a pretty trim. I really love that trim. And this is what we have. So the next thing I'm thinking of is I got this, remember I got this big applique? I was thinking of putting it on the front. Of course, I need to cut it to fit. So I, I'm going to need to do some cutting. Like I need to cut some pieces out. And I'm thinking of putting it down like that. So actually, this part here will be on one side and this part here will be on another. So that's what I'm... So I'm going to go ahead and, off camera, I'm going to go ahead and just cut this apart into sections and then I'll come back and then I'll show you what it looks like. And see how I cut the applique just totally apart? So I got this piece, and then I cut this piece, and I have this, and then I have this piece here. So these two longer pieces, these are what I'm going to drape oops, on the sides of the heart like this. I think I have one going this way. And one going that away. Of course, I'll have to do a little more maneuvering it around so they're not overlapping because I don't want them to overlap at the bottom here. Kind of like this is where I'm heading with that. Did that turn out pretty? This is so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing these this, these down and then I'll come back and I'll show you how it turned out. Okay, this is how it turned out. It turned out really nice. I got it to go all the way around and then right. it just overlapped in the back just a little bit. So that's what we have here. So what I'm thinking about doing next is I have these little appliques. Remember these little appliques I have? I think I'm going to cut these apart because I want to put a little piece down here on the bottom and then I want to put another little piece up here on the top and then I'm going to work on what I'm going to do in the center here because I do know I want to use this so um, I just need to figure out how I'm going to rearrange this to go in here so I just need to cut it up a little bit and put it how I want it because these were just a little I might even be able to put that one in there and just have some of these hang down from the bottom and then have that in the center and then I can might be able to attach that. I might have to remove some of these little beads to do that, but we'll see. But first first things first, let me just cut this apart and put this down where I want it to be and then I'll be right back. So what I did is I cut the two little ends off of here. This is, you know, the two this is what it looks like. It had those little ends right here. Well, I cut those off, and I placed one down here on the bottom, and then I placed one right up here on the top. 
So now what I want to do for the middle part right here is I have this piece that we cut off the big applique and I'm going to glue that right down there. So that's what it's going to be like for the center. So let me go ahead and glue that down and I'll show you how it turns out. I am really happy with the way the front of this turned out. I originally was going to try to put this in the center, but you know, I actually just like it just like this. I think this is, I, you know, I don't want to like overdo it, and I think this is, this is perfect just like that. Just enough so it looks really pretty, but it's not overdone. But the back is driving me crazy because it's so plain. So what I'm thinking of doing with the back is I have these little pieces here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it out and then I'm going to attach it to the back. Now in order to get it to fit on the back I actually have to cut this one flower out and then put this on first. I'll show you what I mean because I've already cut it out so I could see I cut the flower out of the center so I can lay it here and, so, and I can, now I can move it around a little bit better and I can tack it down and then the flower that I cut out of the center now I can place it back and the whole thing will fit and this is what I'm going to do for the back that way the back's not so plain so I'm going to go ahead and get all that glue down and I'll show you how it turned out okay so this is how it turned out but I'm not too happy with this little bald spot right there I should say bare spot not bald spot but anyway I'm going to take the leftover from the cuttings that I had the glue all over it and I'm going to stick that on there so let me um, put that where I wanted it to be yeah so I'm just going to glue that that way I can cover up a little bit of that and then I'll just there we go and then I'll find a little something flat to go in there, a little flat back pearl or something to go in there. Or I'll cut a little piece of the trim off and stick it in there. And um, so I think that's how the back's going to look. Looks a lot better than just, you know, plain. So it turned out really pretty. Okay. I might put a little bow here. I'm thinking about making a little bow and just tucking it right in there and uh, so let me go ahead and I need to go look at my ribbons and see if I can find a real pretty pink ribbon and then I'll be okay I found a little piece of pale pink um, seam binding and just made a little bow and I put one of the little flowers one of these little flowers in the center here with a little piece of eyelash trim and um, I think I'm not sure how long I'm going to leave these hanging down and um, so anyway this is the finished pillow everything that I used you can get at KS for you the only thing I used out of my stash was the fabric the um, fiber fill and of course the little seam binding here and the eyelash trim everything else you can get at KS for you and I will everything will be in the description box below and as a reminder for the month of May for every $25 purchase your name will be in the drawing for a gift certificate and she's giving away two one's a $30 and one's a $40 and the flowers are still 60% off so please take advantage of that and stock up on your on your really pretty flowers. So anyway, this is the pillow front. This is how it is on the back. And if you remember from my last one, and this is going to be going to Shabby Pink House if she wants it. My email will be in the description box below where you can contact me so I can get your address. Okay, so thank you for watching. <clears throat> Excuse me, my boys. And, um, be talking to you again soon. Bye for now.